Assalamu alaikum Guys How's everyone doing? Alhamdulillah Just headed to Chicago For a symposium on halal foods You know getting an insight Into different perspectives It's very important For us to know You know Alhamdulillah You know we should always Accommodate our imams For going such Going to such a Events and conferences and symposiums so they can further their knowledge and better better serve the community that they're living in but some communities say mm -hmm. you studied for seven eight years in university and you still have to go to symposiums and learn <laughs> no you can't go you have to leave Dhuhr <laughs> stop it then why did you waste all your time while you studied in Darul Uloom? Huh? You don't need to go to a halal event. We eat halal, alhamdulillah. We know what halal is. We know everything about the deen. Assalamu alaikum. If you appreciate the content that we're putting out there, do hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Much love and stay blessed. Wallah, I'm telling you, some communities, I swear, Accommodate your imams. Let them further their knowledge. Times all, always change. You don't necessarily learn every single thing in seminary. In fact, I would say the majority of the modern day crises that we're facing in communities that we're living, we don't learn any of that sort of knowledge while we're in seminary. We learn theory. We learn we learn, alhamdulillah, a lot of beneficial knowledge. We study amazingly, but it's still not enough. If you want your imam to be a good asset for your community, and not just the imam for Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, if you want him to be a backbone of your community, somebody who will uplift your community, somebody who will motivate the youth of your community, somebody who will stand up to challenges in your community, then you need to facilitate for your Imam to go out there and further his knowledge in various sciences or in various aspects which he needs to you know, study, which he needs an insight regarding, so to speak. And I would personally advise myself and every Imam out there to aspire in the near or far future to develop a sense of istighna'iyah for yourself, independence from the community in these regards where you actually you know have to go out there out of your way and study uh, additionally maybe at seminars or conferences or even say a university course of some sort let not the community get in your way develop that level of istighna'iya and our nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us my dear imams whoever asks allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for independence allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yughnihi allah Allah will make this person independent. You know, uh, this person would not have to rely upon anyone else. Oh, enough chit-chatting. I have to head to Chicago, attend the symposium. I'm not going to focus on Snapchatting and TikToking while learning. So don't hope for any of that. I might show you where I'm going or the place, the, the venue from the outside, a little bit from the inside, but then see you later until... I chillax. Salamu alaikum. Take care. And be good to everyone, including yourselves. Salamu alaikum. Bismillah tawakkalna ala Allah. So I just reached the venue. I'm not going to snap much. This is the venue MSI in uh, Illinois, near Chicago. I'm just going to go in and listen to the presentation, inshallah. Educate yourselves, empower yourselves, and succeed, inshallah. Salamu alaikum. Just a few thoughts on the Halal Symposium that I attended. SubhanAllah, people at times underestimate how important it is to facilitate for such organizations which look after the Halal, nutritious well-being of the Muslim community. I am telling you, SubhanAllah. Aside from the ruling of eating Halal versus non-Halal or, you know, eating here and there aimlessly Aside from that, look at the philosophy behind starting halal organizations, halal restaurants, halal butcher shops, 
halal certifying bodies what is the philosophy behind this you literally establish a piece of your faith a good piece of your faith in the land that you're living in and you look after the well-being of generations to come I have personally seen I've been to a lot of communities served at a lot of communities as well I've personally seen that the communities who facilitate for the halal well-being in terms of eating for their children their loved ones their communities they thrive and generations are looked after communities who don't facilitate for the well-being the halal nutritious well-being of their children their loved ones their communities I've seen personally they suffer for generations in this regard like I've been to some of the first Muslim communities in North America which still don't have a halal restaurant because they said well you can eat everything and anything and I don't blame them you know they possibly were not educated with regards to the matter but when will the time come if not now and you see communities like uh, you know Toronto or Chicago which are not as old as the first communities the first Muslim communities to come into North America but they are booming when it comes to the halal industry to support halal organizations, eat halal, live halal, and inshallah you will thrive. Bi'idnillah, your children will see. The oh yes, inshallah your children will also see the blessings of you eating halal and facilitating for halal. Bi'idnillah, may Allah grant us all goodness. Whew. Jazakumullahu khairan once again for watching. If you've benefited from this video, make sure you hit that like button, share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit our website, stay connected with us on social media. Your kindness and love are much appreciated. Remember us in your du'as. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.